Oh, is there something on the middle there? That looks like I could jump across. Almost. No? Okay, it's just decorative. Ah, uh, this is definitely a jumping point. Yep, keep going, Rue. Keep going. His first name is Kanga. That's why he jumps so much. Let's record progress. Oh, treasure. I love treasure. Another piece of Posite. I think Poise is defense and Focus is attack. I don't know why they were given such fancy names, though. Oh, no. Eight fangs. Okay, this is going to be a little tougher. And Trazian has fallen asleep. Just in shock, he has fainted, I think. I think that's what it means. He was just so surprised that this puny enemy has come back for revenge in uh, larger numbers. I think I'm actually going to have to need to heal Trazian this battle. He's not the, the tank he was in his younger days. He's, um, he's actually beginning to crack a little bit under pressure. Poor old man. Well, look, let, let's uh, get these killed anyway. Get them nice and murdered, and then we can be on our way. Oh, God. Everyone is injured. Uh, let's heal Trazian. He needs it most. Oh, there's only two of them now. It'll be easier from here on. And, like, one of them's severely injured already. We just This is the last one to really worry about. Well, it is the last one to worry about. There we go. Five CTP, four AR. That's pretty good. I'm going to save it because... You know... That, the battles here, there aren't very many of them, but when there are, they're quite uh, tough. You know, you can die very easily and end up getting bit sent back loads. Like if you know, just one stun thing hits you wrong, then that's it, really. As you saw earlier in our battle with the hairy cave ray thing. But yeah, let, let's just get these guys. Oh no, they all gained 14 HP. What? I wasn't even paying attention to that. They can heal now. They've, like, evolved or something. Gaius has to mend himself because he's dying like some sort of coward. He's going to have to mend everyone. It's okay. We, we can cope with this. Uh, spin blade and headshot not on the one we're targeting because the one we're targeting is probably nearly dead already. See? See? Okay, there's only two left. Once there's two left, it becomes easy. I don't know why. Maybe it's psychological. But we've beaten two before really easily. So, uh... I just assume we always can. But maybe we'll be really injured when we reach this point sometime. I don't know. Okay, victory again. There we go. 5 CTP, 4 AR. We absorbed the foesight. Hooray. Let's equip a uh, heartstone now. Get a little bit more HP going. Uh, HP brown sauce. Oh, jump. Jump, Rue, jump. Is that a save point? Awful lot of save points. Not a good sign. Means there's danger about. Oh, these guys. There's always a save point near the cave rays, actually. Probably because they're such bastards, you know? Lun knew what he was doing. He was well aware. He's like, oh, these cave rays, they're going to really annoy everyone. So I'm going to put them near save points so everyone has to save and reload loads. Okay, I think we need a uh, spin blade. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. That, that didn't do much, but... He's stunned. Perfect. I 
This is Chrono Trigger, isn't it? The music. Or maybe Chrono Cross. One of them. Victory! I shouldn't have played either because they were never actually released this side of the Atlantic, but uh, somehow I did. Alright, let's keep moving. Okay, I'm a cross. And... Well, I'm a man. I'm not a cross. But you know what I mean. Uh, right. More of these dudes. Okay. All we can really do is focus on them one at a time and beat them up. I think that's the right strategy anyway, because, you know, you're gradually lowering their numbers so their attack power drops. Right? That's what you do. You take out the minions first before you go for the big target. It's basically the same principle. Gaius is asleep. He's missed half the battle. He just... Oh, now he's awake. What the, what's the matter, Gaius? Were we boring you? You fixed Trazian. Okay, this is this is uh, all right. We've uh, done a bit of damage. Trazian's asleep, of course. He's always asleep. He's just a sleepy guy. He must have the lowest like sleep resistance stat or whatever it is out of everyone in the universe. Oh, and Rue is getting a bit beat up. Let's let's give him a light mend. Oh wait, wait, we can spin blade them. Not that we need to. There's only one left now. Trazian's going to miss the entire battle now. Come on, Trazian. There you go, he mess he missed the whole thing. Thanks a lot. Okay. So what's up here then? Another save point. Oh, more danger. Okay. Oh! Come here, you. My name is Rue. And I am fighting you. Oh, they had a group hug again. Group hug, wow. That's a little strange. I don't think they have arms, do they? Are those little arms at the side or are they like gills? I can't really tell. I don't think they have, they, they'd be able to hug though. I mean, their arms aren't big enough to wrap around each other, if those are arms. Maybe they use their ears like arms, like some sort of cartoon bunny rabbit or something. Which is ridiculous in itself, really. Who uses their ears as arms? It's just... I don't know. It's whimsy on a scale that I cannot tolerate. It's okay, there's only two of them. We can easily beat these. Yeah, there we go. 5 CTP, 4 AR. I think that's nearly another notch absorbed, is it? Oh yeah, just about. Wow. They're okay, gonna save again. And... Oh, we're out! We're outside, everybody! We made it! I don't see any treasure around. That doesn't mean there isn't any, though. Let's, let's, let's not uh, get carried away. Let's keep an eye out. Look at that branch up there, blocking my vision. In some kind of magical, mystical forest or something. Anything up here? Any treasure? Got any treasure? Any treasure lying around? No? On the river? No? 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 No, nothing. God, what kind of forest is this? There's always meant to be like mystical treasures lying around. Oh, here, here, no. Oh look, it's people. Boo! Landsru, it's just a girl. Why are you so tense? That's not your voice, Trazian. I'm sorry. What's with me? 
It's all right. I'm sorry to. Did I scare you? No. I didn't. Sigh. Is a drawn sword your reaction to every unexpected event? Yes. Is that because bandits attack you a lot? Yes. I don't know why they would. You look like you're good with your sword. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Uh, sure. What? Nothing. My name is Lyra. What are your names? Rue. Treasian, at your service. My name is Gaius. And my name is Rosmar. Or Cloud Strife, I look very like him. Lyra, you are told to call out if anyone came. If they had tried to harm me, I would have called out. But look, they're just honest wanderers like us. Don't you get it? It would have been too late had they been bandits. After all, the news we've been hearing, and that body we found today, I would hope that you would have a little more cautious, be a little more cautious, Lyra. What news? You haven't heard? Three wanderers were massacred two nights ago. A middle-aged man, his wife, and a younger woman who was travelling with them. That's just awful. Could it have been the blue scarves? I don't know. From the story I heard, nothing appeared to have been taken. All their valuables were untouched. Dot, dot, dot. You all right, Rue? You look sick. I want to sit down. Those were the people from the start of the game. Come on, then. There's plenty of room around the fire. Why don't you all tell a story tonight? That is the traditional price for staying at another fire, you know. Uh, try to look more excited about it, Rue. I hope you have a story in mind. I already know the story I'm going to tell. Story time. While we pass the grub around, why doesn't one of you start it off? I'll go first, if you guys don't mind. Okay, ahem. It all began when I asked Rue to join up with me to go and explore a cave. Little did we know of the vicious beast lurking inside. And with one final tr thrust of his sword, Rue ended its miserable life. The end. How thrilling! That was such an exciting story. Do you really do that, Rue? It was really more of a team effort. That's true, but Rue still acted as our valiant leader. That's why I think he deserves most of the credit. I certainly do. Yes, he did very well. Why don't you tell the next story, Rue? I'm not good at telling stories. I'd rather not. That's all right. We'll all help you along. Yeah, this'll be fun. All right. Oops, all right. Here goes. Once upon a time, there lived a small young boy... Persilius, get up, you lazy head. Rue, that's an awful name for the main character. You'll wear your jaw out just saying it. What do you suggest, Lyra? Persilius was the name of the protagonist in Crestfallen Inception, Lund Calsari's earlier game. And yeah, it, it's a bit of a mouthful. How about Rook? Hmm, that sounds oddly familiar somehow. Ow! Be nice. <laughs> Be nice, Lyra. You had a poisonous bug crawling on you. I was just trying to crush it before it bit you. Poisonous bug? Yeah. Okay, I'll try this again. Rook, get up, your lazy head. Come on, rise and shine. Your breakfast will get cold if you don't hurry up. Oh, I'm Rook now. My favourite comic book. Mom reads stories to me before bed sometimes. Looks like Mom already emptied my chamber pot. That's good, I left her a nasty surprise last night. Um, let's check this Christmas tree. Or this, my favourite picture. I'm already dressed. Why am I already dressed? Did I just sleep in my clothes? Ah. Remember, Rue? It's always a good idea to introduce... Oh, that's Lyra. Remember, Rue, it's always a good idea to introduce the hook of your story early on. People might get bored with your story if you put it off for too long. 
Something exciting should occur. Maybe someone can explain the plunge rules to Rook or something. However, sometimes the hook is well worth waiting for. No problem. Your meal is right here, Rook. Nope. Don't want a meal. Sorry, I'm going. This goes to Mom's room. I'm not allowed in there. This is Mommy's bookshelf. I'm not allowed to read any of her books. She says they aren't for kids. Oh, it's her blicker porn stash. This is where Mom keeps all her painkillers. She's a real pill popper. Talk about a big, empty, boring room. What's this? A bucket? Can I leave? Goodbye. No, I can't. Eat up there. Yuck, what is this, Mom? Don't complain, you spoiled brat. Eat it now. Screw you, Mom. <laughs> what? What did you just say? Your food sucks, Mom. And guess what? I know all about your little scheme to bump me off. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. You, <clears throat> you know nothing. Ha! I knew all about Dad. Whatever happened to good old Dad? Just vanished with the wind, did he? I think not. How dare you! You disgust me, Mom. You're not even my real mother. You fool! It took you this long to figure it all out? Today you will die! I'll kill you, you witch! Yeah, let's get her. Fruit, that's awful! I've never heard of a story like this. Is this necessary? I thought it was getting pretty interesting. I have to hand it to you, Rue. This is very original. Instead of the violence, why don't you just add a love interest? That's always exciting. Here, let me take over the story for a while. Okay. <laughs> oh, Rook, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Sorry about the flesh wound. No need to apologize, Mom. I should have been more sensitive to your needs. You're so sweet, Rook. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Hug. Look, it's your friend, Lila. Hi, Lila. Hello! I've got some chores to take care of. Why don't you two go out and play? Okay, Mom. Let's go, Lila. You pick me a flower, Roo. Wasn't the boy's name Rook? There's that darn bug again. Oh, and please don't interrupt. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Rue, why don't you pretend to be Rook and answer Lila's questions? Sure. Will you pick me a flower, Rook? I guess. How romantic. It's so beautiful. Well? Hmm? Are you saying you love me by giving me this flower? What? I mean, yes. Oh, Rook, I don't know what to say. But I can't love you. I'm sorry. No problem. Roo! Rook is supposed to go after her. What just happened is known as a complication. Stories are boring without them. It's also a mystery. Don't you want to know why Lila can't love Rook? I know my interest has been piqued. Shush, you! Go ahead and continue the story, Roo. No, Lila, wait! Hmm, what does this cow do? Oh, a rock. Bunny rabbit, just like the one I own. Except this one's white, not red. Fly... Hello? Help! Wahaha! I have locked Lila's ability to love others away in this ancient artifact. Why? I don't answer questions. Only by defeating me can you save your one true love. Well, there's no way that's going to happen. You're much bigger than I am. No, no, Rook, you can do it! The power is inside you! You were born with it, Rook! Are you saying I'm some sort of chosen one? Yes! How do you know that? 
Be quiet, you are a dead boy. I don't think so. Og. Oh, Rook, you've saved me. Ah, uh, Lila? Yes, Rook? Is there something you wanted to say to me? Yes. Um, well, hmm? you are, uh... I'm what? You're standing in a puddle of blood. Rook, you dimwith! What a story. I enjoyed that. Wow. That was great. I'm just glad it's over. Well, now if, that you mention it. Oh, hush. Rue, that was a fabulous story. I was very impressed. In fact, we should get together and do this again. Well, I'm going to sleep. That goes for me as well. Wait a minute. Where did Gaius go? He did seem kind of flighty. I can't believe I didn't see him go. I don't think we should be concerned. He obviously left of his own accord. Let's just get some rest now. Oh, and it's the middle of the night. Rue has to sleep outside for some reason. I don't know why. They just don't let him in their tents. They re obviously don't respect him. Oh no! It's the dude from earlier who massacred the camp. And he's back. <gasps> what could happen next? End of episode one. It is. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end of episode one. If this has proven popular, I might go on and play episode two and episode three all the way through to the very end if people are up for it. So let me know in the comments. Um, until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>